Greetings and salutations, everybody. I'm Simone Malone, live here in Studio 236, and today I am delighted to bring to you Pastor Romaine Gibbs. He is a licensed funeral director from Philadelphia. Guys, you're going to find out about this wonderful funeral home, the services that he provides, and not only that, he's a pastor, and he sings. Yeah. He's multi-talented. Yeah, he's multi-talented. <laughs> so I want to welcome to Studio 236 of FMHDMS, Pastor Romaine Gibbs, the owner, the licensed funeral director of R.S. Life Celebration Funeral Home right here yes. in my hometown of Philadelphia. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Tell everybody a little bit about you. We did the radio show. That was great. Tell everybody um, that is watching this a little bit about who in the world, oh, who in the world is this handsome looking brother, motivating person, pastor, uh, sings on the choir, and licensed funeral director oh, from Philadelphia. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for those yes. good words. Um, I am uh, Romaine Gibbs. I'm 32 years old. Uh, born and raised in Philadelphia. Lived a couple of places. Um, been through a lot of my life, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm growing up and uh, just went through my journey. I pressed no matter what, kept mm -hmm. on going. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a couple of hurdles, but here I am. I went to college um, for computer science and I went for mortuary um, science. Mm -hmm. Then I became a licensed funeral director on my way back again. Wow. Um, so, you know, I'm just this young guy. I'm full of energy. I'm down to earth. Um, but I also have a lot going on for myself as well. Absolutely. You know, Pastor Pastor Roman, I want to know what encouraged you to get into this field of burying the dead? Mm -hmm. Because uh, as talented as you are, this is an area that you chose, and I believe the Lord placed you in mm -hmm. this field for a reason. You could have chose other fields. I could have. You could have been an executive somewhere mm -hmm. else, but uh, you could have been somewhere else, and here you are. Uh, God has placed you with the gift and ability mm -hmm. and the talent to be able to uh, bring comfort to families yes. who has lost a loved one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's so funny. I wanted to be a cop. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I wanted to be a cop, but I ended up burying I did a see a picture of you. Uh, you didn't see me in a uniform. No, no, but okay. I did see somebody uh, on your page there. Y'all look like y'all were practicing how to shoot a gun. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was, that was me and Phil. <laughs> I see you. Yeah. I see. No. Yeah, He's I an think, undercover cop. No, I'm, no, I'm not. No, no, but I like it. Go ahead. But yeah, yeah that's a shooting range. You have fun with stuff. You gotta but protect yeah, yourself. You gotta protect yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. You gotta protect yourself. Funeral directors are targeted. You know what I'm saying? You know, they want all this money, but they're gonna just be practicing. Listen, and I understand that but some no. of them do carry. They Absolutely. Have to. Absolutely. They have to legal. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially when you're going in and out the funeral home later. Go ahead. Um, but, you know, I just, um, I like what I do. Um, and. I have a passion for what I do. It's not just ministry for me. It's a calling for me. Um, and it's like I said on the radio, uh, the, it's, your family becomes my family. Mm -hmm. And this is what I love to do. So if I lay out mama, I lay out daddy, I'm going to lay out mama, lay out daddy, the same way I would lay out my own mama and daddy. Mm -hmm. So this is just not, oh, it's just a funeral home making money. No, because I'm going to be honest with you, we don't make that much money. People say it, but we give so much. Right. And from the heart, we are giving so mm -hmm. much. We're trying to help out families so much that, um, you know, we give a lot. Mm -hmm. But I love what I do. R.S. Gibbs Funeral Home, it reflects me. All my staff reflects R.S. Gibbs Funeral mm -hmm. Home. And we are just a family. We are ministry. We love what we do. And we try our best to do what we can do in the community. Great. As we were talking on the radio, um, I want you to explain, Pastor Gibbs, the difference between an unlicensed mm. and a licensed funeral director because people, you need to place the care of your loved ones or someone that you know that's dear and near to you who have passed away or in that transition in the hands mm. of someone who is licensed yes. in the city. And yes. this young man is, is a licensed funeral director yes. and making an impact. Can you share the difference? Because we want to educate our viewers mm -hmm. and our listeners on that because... Uh, this is this is information that I need to yes. know for my own benefit yes. because I need to know who's who's in the care of my loved ones mm -hmm. or in the care of me mm -hmm. if something happens to the feel good man. Yep. So go ahead and share. Whenever you entrust, whenever you entrust your loved one into the care of a funeral home, your main concern is if they're licensed. I need to know: Are you licensed? Mm -hmm. um, the credentials should be displayed within the funeral home. Um, it should be visible so you can see it. If you don't see it, you can always ask them. Are you licensed? They are have a they have a pocket card. They're supposed to bring that pocket card up to show you their credentials. If they don't show you the credentials, then you can also go on to the Pennsylvania State Board of website 
um, to get that information to find out if they're licensed, if the funeral home is licensed. But the difference between the licensee is the licensee is trained. Not only skilled, they're trained. We have the knowledge to share information to help um, help you get through the process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There might be a veteran. We might have we have information to be able to share with you. If we don't have that information, mm -hmm. we can call on that information. Right, right, right. Um, an unlicensed funeral director, they perpetrate. And now people just like that. Um, they say, I'm a funeral director. They shouldn't be using this term. They have not went to college for it. They have not studied for it. They have not took mm -hmm. national boards for it. They have not took state exams for it. They have done none of it. Wow. And we go through a very extensive training in order to do this. It's like med school. Um, so, so you've invested in yourself educationally, have, financially have, yes, to do this. Yes, I have invested. You know, I have went to school. I had to, you know, get approved. I didn't just open a sphere home. Um, the unlicensed person, they, you know, from a legal aspect, there's nothing you can really do with them. Um, if, say for instance, just out the blue, that if the casket was banged up or mama was leaking, you know, you can say, oh, well, mama's leaking, well, they're unlicensed. So it's only but so much you can do. How could you really chase them? A licensed funeral director, you're able to trade chase them. You're able okay. to go to the state board, report them, right. start investigations and do the stuff you need to do. Well, let, let me be the antagonist that I am mm -hmm. because, you know, this is about educating and mm -hmm. letting people know. Mm -hmm. They can run their business, but why would a funeral home not want to be licensed? Absolutely, but I mean, you know lot, what I'm saying. But I mean, there is a lot. There are a lot. That's of, like driving a car without having a license. Is, you can go to jail there, for it. It's like going to a doctor that's not licensed, that's practicing. But there's a lot of people out here that's practicing. There are not, licensed. and they're making a lot of money. And right. we're not here to knock anybody's business. We just no, want people to be knowledgeable. No, but what they do yeah. is they use other people's name. To operate oh, the funeral home that are licensed, that are licensed. Oh, okay. Um, and that has become a really big stink in the funeral profession that a lot of people is using other people's name, but it's the professional that's allowing them to do it. You know, mm. so so it's a catch here. It's a catch yeah. here. You know, and it's about the professional probably financially is not stable. This person can bring a lot of business, so that's how they work. Okay. Out. But you know, at the end of the day, it's not proper. It's mm. not what you should do, and you should know who you're dealing with. You know, just like if you go to a plastic surgeon, you want to know who you're dealing with. Absolutely. I want to know who I'm dealing with. That I want to sense. know yeah. that my mother or father is entrusted in the care that I know they know what they're doing. They know what to say. They know who to talk to. And I can make sure that everything's going to be okay. It's wonderful. Now, you are, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am talking to Pastor Romaine Gibbs, licensed funeral director here in this city and a pastor. You are the youngest yes. funeral director mm -hmm. um, in this city who has had great opportunities, yes. and I congratulate you. Yes. I've seen his work. Mm -hmm. He has a great reputation. You have done, I, I guess I would consider you a celebrity oh, type yeah. of uh, okay. funeral like director right. okay. uh, because you've done some very popular people here, and you had an opportunity back in 2012 mm -hmm. to do an uh, officer that died in a line of duty. Yes. Can you share about that, mm -hmm. how that came about? Because they could have entrusted someone else. Mm -hmm. But they came mm -hmm. to Romaine Gibbs yeah, and said, it's, "We it's, wanted you." It's the work. Yes, it's the work. And um, um, uh, Miss Wayne Walker, his mother, um, she already knew the work. Um, and she called. And long story short, she called and she said, "You know, I went. You guys to do it." I said, "Okay." And she called back. She said, "Listen, go get my son mm. because they were trying to send him to." The Ginvich Funeral Home, which has the contract with the city. Okay, wow. let, let me not start that. We has the contract with the city. I've seen that. And yeah. so automatically when an official dies, they go to Ginvich. But she was totally against it. And she said, go get my son. I mean, of course, they tried to get me to run around. Oh, yeah, it. absolutely. But, but, you know, Witten got him. Um, and she said to me, she said, you make sure that you don't embarrass me. Mm. Because they all telling me that this is where you need to go. This is who knows how to do it. But I told them that my black brothers, they're able to do it. I've seen their work. And we executed. We executed it well. Um, everything flowed the way it should be. Gimmish Funeral Home had, they had about 84 members on their staff. Speak when they do the police officer funeral, they all worked the funeral. We had about 12 members on our staff. Wow. wow. That's all we had. And so we had deliverance working, working, and we made it do what it do with 12 members on the staff. But it's all about you knowing how to coordinate, you know how to put stuff together. Um, and it's all about your team. You gotta know your team mm -hmm. players. Everyone mm -hmm. know their part, right, know their place. Right, right. And when it came to the service, you know, they were afraid because they thought I couldn't do it. I wasn't afraid because I had studied it. You know, I had watched out for stuff like this, and it was like, here's my opportunity. 
and right. it went well. And the right. city and the mayors and commissioners, they were just like, we have never seen something as such. Congratulations. Thank you. This is why you need to contact Pastor Romaine Gibbs, his funeral home, because your loved ones yes. will be in great comfort, great care, and great support mm -hmm. with a licensed funeral director. And I've already told him on the radio, if yes. something happens to me or someone that I know, I'm going to recommend his services. Wow. And many of you know I don't have people on this station without sharing something that's real and true and that we have investigated to know that it's happening. So if people are interested in your services, mm -hmm. some family could be going through um, and they're, they're deciding what shall they do. Speak to that mother, speak to that father, speak to that grandfather, that pastor, that person out there that's watching this, that they need to contact you immediately. Yes. That would be in, in the best of their interest mm -hmm. for what they're doing. Yes, yes. absolutely. Um, Look right there under, and tell under, them, Understand yes. this, that cremation is not your only option. And a lot of people, are turn, families are turning to cremations because the prices are so high for cemeteries and burials. But there are options for mm -hmm. you. And so what we do at RS Gives Life Celebrations, we sit down with you. We hear your needs. We hear what you want to do. We want to know exactly mm -hmm. what you need. You tell us. And we're going to say to you, we can do this or we can't do right. this. But right. we'll also give you options. And we are a very resourceful uh, funeral home that works with you. Again, I have a plan right now. You know, it's a traditional service. Mm -hmm. It is $3,800. Mm -hmm. And like I said, mm -hmm. a casket, a hearse, and a grave. Yes. It's a semi-private. There's no reason why you have to just look to direct cremation there's a service here we can work it out um but if you ever need anything any questions i can answer for you um if you ever need um just anything you need mm -hmm. in the event of an actual death house calls and anything you need mm -hmm. you need to call rs gibbs life celebrations funeral home uh, that's 215-765-2705 that's 215-765-2705 and listen we are always available to help you and to assist you if you just have questions Call us. If you want to set up a pre need we'll give you those options. There is no reason why you should not have the knowledge you should have. That's right. And there's no reason why your exactly. loved one should have to go out of here That's right. and don't have any type of arrangement set up. Yeah. And there's no reason why you can't have a dignified service for someone in your family. Absolutely. Make it happen, folks, because um, when, when you've lost someone that's very close and dear. It's a very tough time for you. And, you know, one quick thing, and then we're going to tie in with your church and wrap this up, that I've noticed, you know, Pastor Gibbs, that a lot of popular artists, mm -hmm. uh, singers and pastors and ministers, mm -hmm. they're singing all over the country, making money, but yet do not have a life policy or they have not been a part of the appropriate yes, planning. Yes. Speak to that person. Yes, encourage yes. them to plan now. Yes. yes. Plan it's, it's now. Really, it's really important. Listen, in order to do a pre-need, do not take money. If a funeral director tell you that, they're lying. Mm -hmm. And if you want to set up money, you're more than able to do that. Um, but... Put something in place. It's a start to know that you have something in place. You have something to give to your son, to your daughter. Mm -hmm. You have something to leave to say, listen, I already went to Gibbs Funeral Home and planned it out. Let the insurance policy pay for this or pay for that. It makes no sense. I have seen more uh, fish fry, mm -hmm. fish fries. I have seen more chicken <laughs> fries in a little bit. The berry. Someone wow. I've seen more musicals of big <clears throat> artists. Absolutely. Because they're walking around, they're singing, they're preaching, they got these mega ministries, but no life insurance. Wow, like sad. I said earlier, you are insured, but you don't have insurance. I hear you. You know, I hear so you. make sure you get something. Gerber Life Insurance, I told him earlier, ten dollars, right. eleven dollars. You can get ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. <laughs> Anything <laughs> is better than nothing. That's right. So make it happen. <clears throat> make sure you have your stuff in order because guess what? Life one day is going to end. We That's all got to die. That's it. That's but it. what happens when you die? I mean, do you just leave your family fighting and arguing? No, you got to put stuff in place for these people. Wonderful. We yeah. thank you so much for sharing that. Now, you're, you're a pastor in the city. Yes. Tell everybody about the exciting thing going on at, is it the PE? P3. P3. Yes. yes. P3. I like that. He's yes. going to tell you about his ministry. Mm -hmm. He wants to invite you guys to come out. Mm -hmm. Uh, for that and to give some shout yes, outs P3, P3, we were P3 Urban Worship Church. We are now P3 Transformation Center. Um, it is a relevant place of worship for all walks of life. It don't matter who you are. But on Sunday, July 27th at 2.45 p.m., we're having our family and friends days, the shorts and shades. So you can put the shorts sunglasses on. Shorts and shades. And your shorts. Okay. Family and friends day at 531 North 12th Street. So I can have my shades on in the service? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, wait till y'all see the atmosphere. <laughs> y'all gonna like this. Yeah, yeah. You got because Pastor gonna be preaching in his Gucci glasses. Wow. But no, but yes, yeah, come on cool. out. The shorts and shades. Um, 
come out and be a part of it meet everyone yeah. we are love ministry we love on everybody and so we invite you old young new whatever come on pants hanging dreadlocks come on it, it just says come as you are yeah we that church we welcome everybody absolutely yes. now go ahead and give some shout outs i know you quite loved in this city mm -hmm. uh go ahead and get some shout outs to some people that you want to and then encourage them again to contact you uh if they need your services go yes uh, uh shout out you know all of my friends, my families, thank you to those that have supported RS Gifts, Life Celebrations, Funeral Home, as well as the P3 Church. Thank you guys so much. My mama, mama somewhere. Hi, oh, mama. yeah. Hey, yes. mama. <laughs> and Philip, thank you. Thank you for great your love Great guy. Great guy. Yes. Thank you for your love and support. Um, everyone, to all my staff, you know, I yeah. thank them. Uh, my friends and everyone, I love each and every last one of these guys. These guys walk with me through the whole process, so I really appreciate it. To my hairstylist. Nate, he's somewhere. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Nate. Uh, Nate, the hair transformer, he's the bomb. But thank you so much to Jamez and Michelle and all you guys. I love each and every last one of you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Romaine Gibbs, R.S.Gibbs, Life Celebration Furniture Home in yeah, Philadelphia. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to know that it was an honor and a delight to be able to spotlight him today. Uh, for his services and his ministry. I'm glad to be able to do work for him because I am his radio promoter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm my pain. Tell everybody yeah. what you think about this man and our ministry of the station and what right, we're doing. Right. Tell those folks he, out Listen, there. he's absolutely wonderful. He works with you, and not only do you tell him what you need, but he'll give you ideas some things to help you guys out. So I'm looking for you know a lot of doors to open up for this opportunity. And listen, if you are... A new business. If you need some type of marketing, take it to the next level. You need to call Mr. Malone. Yep. He'll work it out. He'll do whatever is needed for you. I love it. He makes this whole atmosphere a family <laughs> atmosphere. He had made me some wonderful things today. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Absolutely. But listen, whatever you guys need, Absolutely. you guys let him know. Um, but in the meantime, if you need the funeral home That's information, it. is RS Gives Life Celebrations Funeral Home. Our phone number is 215-765-2705. You can call our 24-hour number. That's 215-880-8128. Anything you need, www.funeralservicesphiladelphia.com. Wonderful. Look out for us. God bless and, you. and because he is a pastor, before we pr close out this mm -hmm. program, because many of you know I cannot leave an interview mm -hmm. that's spirit-filled mm -hmm. and of the Lord without mm -hmm. pastor praying. He is yes. my pastor right now. We mm -hmm. want you to send a short yes. prayer out mm -hmm. to, to our listeners. Mm -hmm. uh, so much is going on in this city with crime yes. and places everywhere. People are suffering hand-to-hand -hand and foot-to-foot, -foot, but God is able. He is. So, Pastor, mm -hmm. I want you to pray for our listeners. Pray for those bereaved families, and please call him. I promise you yes. that you will be blessed by his services. Yes. Go right ahead. Yes, I just want to, again, speak life to uh, man, woman, boy, girl, whoever you are. You yes. might be going through some hard times in your life. It might seem like it just ain't going to work out. You might can't see your way clearly. But understand me that God is a God who works it out. He can do the impossible. So nothing that you're going through is too impossible and too hard for God to do. He'll work it out. He'll yes. come right on through. But what you have to do is open it up and give it to him. Turn it. it over to him. You're holding on to some stuff that you just can't handle. And when it's too hard for you, you turn it over and give to God. We pray for the city. Father God, we thank you yes. now. We thank you for what you have done, God, yes, on God. this day, God. We thank you for this ministry, God. Uh, Mr. Malone, God, we ask you to continue to bless it, Father God. Now, God, we lift to you that man, that yes, woman, God. that boy or girl that's struggling now, yes, God. God. We ask that you go into their minds, God. You begin to transform their minds, God. Transform their hearts, Father God. Do whatever you need to do in their life, God, to get it right, God. Let them know that it's not over yet. Yes, God. <laughs> the the devil tried to tell them it was over, but it's not over yet. There is still hope for them. There is still joy to be lived. There is still peace for them to enjoy, Father God. Lord, we speak right now to those that's in transition, yes, God. God. Those that's suffering now that's in hospital, God. Give them sweet transition, Father God, in the name of Jesus, in God. The name of Lord, Jesus. we ask you to cover that family that lost a son, that yes. lost a daughter, Father God. In the name of Jesus, God. Strengthen them even now, Father yes, God. God. Lord, we ask that you continue to bless us. Continue to walk with us. Yes, God. Continue to wrap your arms around us, God. Continue to gird us, God. Continue to cover us, Father God. In the name of Jesus, continue of to Jesus. speak life to us. Yes, God. As we speak life to someone else, Father God. We say it is so in Jesus' name. Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. We thank you so much for joining us. Remember, subscribe to my channel, Trusted Voice in Radio, and you can watch all of the inspirational moments, all of my exclusive interviews. We thank you, thank Pastor you. Romaine Gibbs. Also, to Phil, we thank you so much. I'm yeah. waiting for you to shoot me, man. Anyhow, yes, yes, images, I that's it. That. <laughs> that's it. So, have a great day. 
We're sending you a cool praise. Remember to love yourself yes. and give yourself what you need Absolutely. to feel whole and good yes. each day. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. See you later. God bless you. All done.